What's going on, people? So, I mentioned something in the video about some Vapor Maxes, I think it was, that I got a new, not a new camera, a new microphone recently. Well, it's not even a new microphone, it's a microphone. I didn't have one before other than the one built into the phone, right? Either way, so I got this microphone thing going on now, and the sound was a little bit weird when I was, you know, when I was doing the editing and stuff. I had to bring it down a notch because it was like super sensitive or whatever, and I don't really need that. So, hopefully, now it's like gonna sound better. I did do some touch-ups before, like that video went live, right? But this one, hopefully I don't have to do any. So we'll see what happens. And that's part of the reason I'm doing some of these videos today is really just to kind of test this thing out. I could have just done what I'm about to do as like a live or whatever, but eh, no. So here we have a bunch of shirts and a bunch of boxes and bags and whatnot. I'm gonna go through these, talk about whatever's in them. And then after this, gonna talk about some Super 7 figures and then some shoes, right? Yes. So it should be a pretty easy day. So the first ones are gonna be from whatever stores they're from. And then I'll do like the main stuff at the end, like the main event, if you will, which is gonna be the Super 7 stuff, which is why I'm wearing this Super 7 shirt, right? Which I did do a video about this. There's the one that says something about shirts in the title or whatever, you know? This particular bag comes from Once Upon a Tea, right? So, put that down there because that's unnecessary. It's not like a baby's crying outside or something. You hear that? You probably do because this microphone might be super sensitive. So if you hear a baby crying, that's possibly why. And if you don't hear that, good. You don't have to suffer through that like I did. Here we have this. This is, what is, oh yeah, it's like little mix-up, mash-up, whatever with like King T'Challa and like the Notorious B.I.G., right? So yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool shirt. So then I was like, yeah, I'll buy that at some point, at some point. And then they had a sale and I was like, well, I guess this is now that point, right? So I picked it up, as you can see. And okay, there's also a lifesaver in here. I saw one of these recently, like somewhere, and I was like, why do I have like a single lifesaver? Must have been from the last unboxing I did from Once Upon a Tea. And then this is telling me to download some application or whatever, which apparently if you do that, there are some shirts that you can only buy through that, right? I saw one that looked pretty cool, but I was still like, I'm not downloading this thing just so I can buy this thing. No, I have plenty of shirts that I don't need as is, but you know, it's good to talk about. And then they have this sticker here, right? When I say good to talk about, I'm saying like, let you guys know what to expect from these people, right? So this one also, obviously from one, once upon a tea and this is going to be oh, okay so it's kind of like a mashup between like michelangelo and that spider-man cover from many moons ago so kind of like pro wrestling tees right they do give you the option to pick like your style of shirt so i went like with the tank top they have like the v-neck the long sleeve i think hoodies standard t-shirts a bunch of stuff right so you just pick whatever one makes sense for you and then you buy it and then they somebody makes it I'm not sure how they do it, if they do all their own printing or what, like Pro Wrestling Tees does. But either way, it gets made and sent to you in a pretty decent time frame. I mean, I don't remember when I made that order and I don't remember when that arrived, but I'll put it across the bottom of the screen perhaps, unless I forget. And then you can do the math for yourself. Move along. This one is from Black and Brave, right? So some of you might know that I am from Iowa, right? And that's where the Black and Brave thing is from. It's a little wrestling school in Davenport, Iowa, right? Run by Seth Rollins of all people, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. Now that they've given you the backstory, you're like, oh, okay, so that's where this is coming from. But what's the shirt look like? This is what it looks like, right? So it says Tyler F in black, as in freaking black, right? Because, you know, WWE is rated in some sort of PG or something. I don't know. Either way, at some point, Seth Rollins was called Tyler Black, and so that shirt is something that he made. It was like a limited-ish sort of thing, so you kind of had to like buy it around the time whenever they were selling it. That is like a lot of noise that does not need to happen for any actual reason. I don't understand people that do that, honestly, because it's like, what are you trying to prove? Like, what's what's really going on down there? Because all I'm saying, or experiencing from this, is somebody that has potentially very bad music taste, right? And probably some old, some of their own personal insecurities that they're trying to make up for. 
That's just my take on it, right? It could be wrong. I'm likely not. So this box bag comes from Fanatics. I only know that because I happen to see the RKO or the Matt Riddle thing on the shirt, right? So opening this up so the world can see. There you have that. It says go for bro, right? It's got a little Matt Riddle thing on the side there because, you know, like I said, it's a Matt Riddle shirt. So there's that. You'll be seeing this one in, in a in a review several well not several and a few reviews coming soon because you know got some slides to talk about which i was supposed to do a while ago and then kind of forgot and then i realized wait a second one of those is for father's day so i need to do that so i can get them out to him because father's day is like this weekend possibly or next it's coming soon people it's coming real soon have you done anything for father's day like you know for if you celebrated, are you getting anything for that father in your life? Or maybe for yourself. If you're a father, or even me, like, I'm not a father, but, like, I might have celebrated and just get something for me. Why not, you know? So, let's see here. That's the only thing in here. Which is cool. So this is a New Balance bag, right? I didn't really mention that because I was rambling about Father's Day or something. But... Here we go. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. So this is one of those... Okay, there we go. This is one of those, like, athletic-style shirts, right? You know, it's got the new balance on the back and all that good stuff. Very cool. So, And it should keep you pretty cool, because it looks like it's going to be pretty light and lots of little holes for breathability and stuff. So it's coming up on that time of the year where I'm going to need stuff like this, right? And given that I've recently realized I have a handful of New Balance shoes, right? That means I'm going to start needing some of these New Balance shirts to wear, right? Because if you know me, you know I spend not a lot of... Well, I go to the gym like five days a week, right? Maybe six. No more than six, right? Because on Sunday, days like today, I don't like to leave the, the apartment. So, I don't. And this right here is also from New Balance, right? Let's get this all opened up, right? Oh, this is a little thicker than I thought from the picture, but whatever. So there you have this. It's some kind of hoodie type of thing. So you can't, like, maybe you can't tell, but there is a hood here. See, this is the hood like I was talking about. It's a short sleeve sort of deal, right? So kind of different. It's got a nice little zipper on here. Got this whole thing with the, you know, somewhat thick rope thing for around the neck. Not around the neck, but around the hood, right? So, very cool. Now, I do wonder how this is going to feel wearing it because I thought it was going to be lighter, kind of like the like the sleeveless hoodies that I bought from AEW or Pro Wrestling Tees or whatever. But at the same time, it doesn't feel overly thick either. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to see because I saw a gray one that I like too. But I like I have a lot of gray stuff. I mean, I just showed you like a grayish color thing. I have a lot of gray stuff. So, I thought, let me switch it up, go red. And if the red one works out, then I'll go back and get the gray. So, I don't know. I'm going to hold my judgment on this one. But I do like it, right? As far as, like, the quality and the, the feel of it. Kind of has, like, a neoprene sort of feel, you know? So, it should be okay. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, and one one other thing real quick about the earlier stuff that I was... That I had the one Once Upon a Tea shirts... Those felt pretty much on par with like the pro wrestling tees, tank tops that I buy. So, very cool. I think they also have one of those options to get like a soft style t-shirt versus like a standard thicker cotton t-shirt. You'd have to check. Like I just look for like what I'm looking for and don't see anything else. Kind of like a tunnel vision sort of mindset, right? So either way, it's a, it's a website worth checking out because they have a lot of random crap on there. And they have sales often. And I'm a huge fan of the sales, right? So, now we can move on. We can talk about what's in this last box, which is the Super 7 box. Actually, you know what? I just remembered this isn't the last thing. Well, it's going to be the last thing, but it's not the next thing. Because this thing is next. I forgot about these. So, these are some of those same style shirts, right? These just come from ASICS, right? Yeah, from ASICS. So, I remember taking pictures for both of these, like, when I was doing the, the last video about shirts. But I don't... I feel like I didn't put these into that, so I don't know what I took those pictures for. 
So I don't know if these have ever really been talked about or not, so I'm just going to cover them now just to make sure they have. Anyway, so this, kind of like the New Balance shirt I just opened up, right? Got all the extra holes and stuff in the back, you know. This one, it's going to be the same style as the one you see right after this. Just this is a t-shirt version with the little short sleeves or whatever. But either way, I do like this shirt. It was not the most, not the cheapest thing in the world. I mean, it comes in at $60, right? So I'm going to assume that there was a sale of some sort because I'm not about to spend $60 for a shirt, right? I mean, if it's marked down from like 200, I mean, I guess, then that's fine in a way, but $60 like at retail for a shirt, I'm not doing it, right? That just sounds ridiculous to me. Do what you want to do with your money, but I'm a wait out the sale kind of guy. This is the next one, right? So this one is your standard tank top style, right? So no sleeves or anything like that. But it does also have a whole bunch of holes in it, right? So there's that for you on the back side and all. So very lightweight, same as that initial New Balance one that I was showing off. So these come from the Actabreeze series or whatever. So if you're on the ASIC site, just type in Actabreeze and you'll see them. They have pants and stuff too, I believe. And some slides, which I'll be reviewing later whenever I, in the videos I talk about when I break out those, that Matt Riddle shirt. But yeah, so Actabreeze, this one was 55. So it's a little cheaper, probably because there's not as much shirt. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Let's put that over there. That thing did not go very far. You may have heard it like just kind of flail and crash, right? It opened up in the air and then just, that was the end of it, right? But it's a testament to how lightweight they are. So it's kind of a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and get on into here. So, these are a bunch of shirts, right? So, like I said, it's, these are from super7.com, right? Super and then the number seven, dot com. This first one, that is, that's Optimus Prime, right? So there's that red with a little white layout or whatever, line, line up. What's the word I'm looking for? Outline is the word I'm looking for. You know, third try, right? Third time's the charm, I think that's how that goes. So either way, Optimus Prime, pretty nice feeling shirt. I don't know if people care about like the cotton like percentage or whatever. And this thing's like not the easiest to read, so I'm not even gonna bother saying what it is. But it feels very nice. I do like the feel of it, for sure. So. That's cool. Lightweight style things. You know, I like the lightweight shirts that feel soft, you know? I was about to say, like this one, but this also comes from Super 7, so that's, I guess there's no point to really saying that. But what, from what I'm saying, basically, like, of all the shirts that I've ordered from them, they all kind of seem to feel the same. They, sh I'm pretty sure they have a sizing chart on their webpage if you're curious about the sizing, because I don't have anything to say about it. And then we have this right here, that is Megatron, I believe. So, there's Megatron. I don't have anything else to say about that shirt. I mean, I can tell you what colors it is, but that's why I put pictures in there, so I don't have to say as many things, you know? Lighten the load on yours truly. That's kind of how I do this, right? So, I do like the shirt, though. It was... They had a whole bunch of shirts on there, and there was like this whole buy... was it? It wasn't like a buy one get one free sort of deal. It was just four for a hundred dollars, whereas like the shirts are normally thirty dollars. So it was like basically five dollars off per shirt, right? So not bad. It was enough for me to buy a bunch of them. So this is the third shirt. This is oh check it out. It's Charlie Brown and like that chick he used to hang out with. What's her name? I have no idea what that Lucy was. It Lucy. Either way, there's that chick he used to hang out with, and he's sitting there crying, and she. Couldn't care less, which is how I would probably be in that situation. Just like, you, you done yet? You, you know, just kind of wait it out, you know, like, okay, get it all out there. I'm going to sit here and wait. That would be my approach, right? But I don't know, when it comes to like emotions and feelings and such, not so good about that. So, moving along, last one. This is a Misfits shirt from the Jim and the Holograms universe, right? And on the back, you have some tour dates. How fancy is that? Super fancy was a question you didn't have to answer, right? So anyways, there's that, right? I, just, I saw this shirt many moons ago, and they had it, 
And I was like, okay, I'll just pre-order it. Then they, they were sold out of the pre-orders in my size. So I went over to Big Bad Toy Store, put my pre-order in there. And then they were like, okay, cool, got your order. A couple weeks later, like, oh, we're out of stock. I'm like, wait, what do you mean you're out of stock? You were doing pre-orders. And they were on there for like days after I made my order. Something apparently went wrong because both sites, once they came online or whatever, only had extra, extra large. But then they brought these up like last week or whenever I made that order. So now I have it. And so that's pretty cool. So, you know, sometimes you just got to pay attention for long enough and you will get what you want every so often. Not every time, but enough times, at least in my experience. That's enough out of me. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I have some boxes to talk about. Got some action figures in those. And then some shoes over there. And then we're done. Minus a possible live later. But we'll see what happens. Later, people.